again. And in this video, we are just outside the village of Hardraw, which is just outside the village of Horse in North Yorkshire. And we've come to this waterfall behind us, just there, called um, Hardraw Force. Now this waterfall has been here for millions of years and it's built up from all the layers of, uh, of rock you can see behind me. Um, and, it, and it is actually the highest waterfall in the country, in England. So, um, you know, quite a lot of tourists come here and not a lot of people around today, although we've had to wait for a couple of people that decided to go behind the waterfall for a, for a photograph. Um, they had to move out of the way before we could do anything, which was fine. We always wait for these things. We're very patient people, photographers. But this waterfall was probably most famous for featuring in the Kevin Costner Robin Hood movie. Um, and just over there, where the waterfall hits the rocks, that's where he decided to get his kit off and, uh, and made Marion arrived and, uh, and saw him bear, which, you know, probably one of the iconic scenes in the movie. But um, yeah, no matter how much you pay me, I won't be doing it today because it's very cold, that water. So what are we doing? We, we're going to try and photograph this waterfall. And again, rather than photograph it in a portrait format, I'm actually going for a landscape format. So I've got my camera down here. And I say down here because it is pretty, pretty low. Um, one of the reasons I like these, uh, these Gitso tripods is I don't have a centre column on the tripod. And because I don't have a centre column, two things. One, the camera doesn't tend to wobble because it's, it's, it's connected on the centre column. But also, you can get it lower than, uh, than a centre column tripod. Um, unless you start taking your centre column out and hanging it upside down and all sorts of stuff. But really, the, these legs can you just extend out and you can get really quite low, which is what I've done today. Um, anybody that knows me tends to know that I tend to do use my, my tripod quite low most of the time because it actually draws in the foreground. And that's again exactly what I want to do today. So if we look at the waterfall behind me, we've got, we've got all these nice pebbles and rocks that, uh, that are just, just on the edge of the, of the, uh, the splash pool. And then that goes into the deeper water. And then we have the waterfall coming up to, uh, to the top of the frame. Now, one thing that happens if you put your camera up high and you're looking down onto that splash pool, it can extend the distance between the foreground rocks and the base of the waterfall. So that's why a lot of the time, if you put your camera down quite low, it kind of compresses the land in front of the, in front of the image so that you don't get as much foreground between, or well, mid-ground between your foreground and your, and your target in the background. And that's exactly what I've done today. So, what, what have I done? Right, well, first of all, because this is the highest waterfall in the country, I put a wide angle lens on to get it all in. And this is a, uh, a Tamron 15 to 30, and it's actually set at 15 mil at the moment. So as wide as it will go. On the front of that, I've got a polarizer. Not full polarization, once again, about two thirds polarization today, just to remove some of the glare on this water so we can see into the water, see some of those pebbles, see some of those rocks and see that graduate away into the, into the splash pool. It also takes a little bit of reflection off the surface of the water and takes a little bit of glare off the waterfall itself. I've also got there a filter. Now, the, the filter I'm using is a neutral density filter in addition to my polarizer. And I'm, I've tried a couple today, actually. I've tried a, a 1.2 um, Firecrest filter, which I, which I love. Um, that's uh, that's giving me some nice images. They're the, they're the images I'm, I'm actually favouring today. What I'm doing at the moment is I've got a, a Lee Big Stopper on, just for a giggle, because at the settings that I'm wanting to use, round about F10 at 64 ISO, the Lee Big Stopper wants an exposure of 26 minutes. Now, I don't need to wait 26 minutes to know that that's going to be pretty grim so um, I'm gonna give it a go I may show you it at the end um, I may not because uh, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a great pitch in fact I will show you it we'll, we'll put that we'll put that at the end but the one I really like is the uh, is the, is the 1.2 firecrest filter that, that, that just slows it down a little bit and that gave me a 20 second exposure on this waterfall and as you can see by the image that I took with it here it comes there we go uh, then We've got, we've got that waterfall nice. We can see the smoothness in the water. 20 seconds is enough to do that, just to smooth it all out. We get a nice little bit of, um, of milkiness from that water coming over the waterfall. And then we can see those rocks in the foreground as well. If we go to the other picture, which is the 26 minute exposure, we can see, I mean, it's the same picture, but it, 
it's kind of not as good. Things do move in 26 minutes. Um, the, you get a lot more colour cast from that filter, and you can see there's a blue colour cast coming across on this. Try to move it a little bit, but it, it, it is still there. Um, it's not as good, so I prefer this one, which is the 1.2. And uh, and yeah, that's the picture I've taken today. Not the best picture in the world, but uh, a really great place to come and visit. If you've got the patience to wait for people to move away from behind the waterfall, then uh, you can actually come here and get some, some, very, some very nice pictures. Thank you very much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.